Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 206. What is Selective IgA Deficiency? Selective IgA deficiency is the most common primary immunodeficiency. The mechanism of this is unknown, but it's generally thought that the problem is B cells are not able to differentiate into plasma cells, therefore leading to decrease in production of antibodies. Describe the presentation seen with selective IgA deficiency. Patients with selective IgA deficiency are generally asymptomatic, but you may see cases of sinopulmonary infections, GI infections, and autoimmune disease. One important thing to remember about selective IgA deficiency is that if these people are given IgA containing blood products, they may have a life-threatening anaphylactic reaction. What are the common findings observed in selective IgA deficiency? The findings of selective IgA deficiency include low IgA, which is lower than 7 mg per deciliter, but the levels of IgG, IgM, and IgG vaccine titers are all going to be normal. With selective IgA deficiency, you could also have a false positive beta HCG test due to the presence of heterophile antibodies, and that will cause the false positive pregnancy test. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.